G'day, hi, and welcome. All right, so let's just jump into this. How many megapixels do you need to be able to take stock photography? This is a great question. Uh, first off, you probably don't need as many as you think. Right now, you're looking at about 12.1 megapixels. Uh, then you're going to go into about 6.1 megapixels, somewhere in between. The thing is, is right now there's not a lot of great stuff to take pictures of for stock photography here in Canada because it's we're just going into the spring, so there's not a you know things aren't lush and green yet, so you know you might do some indoor photography or whatever. But I just captured a couple of shots and I thought sh thought I'd throw them in here. Uh, I've been getting back into I guess in the last past month I've been getting back into the photography, and what I've been finding is that uh, of all the sites right now I'm using Alamy. I finally got accepted the uh, photos accepted there and I've been using big stock photo for I think since 2005 and I just I haven't used it I think since 2007 and now I just used it again and uh, I made a few bucks on there not very much uh, but I've only got about 200 well a little over 300 photos on there now and the thing is is most of those photos when I uploaded them uh, they were the 6.1 megapixels uh, on the larger size, the JPEGs or whatever. And that was good enough back then. But now what I'm finding is if the photo is too small, like less than 3 megapixels, some sites will take, won't take take you at all. And if it's... They, most of them won't take NFE RAW and mo most of them won't take TIFF. So what you're left with is your biggest JPEG is... is Pretty much what you're left with now this photo is still 6.1 megapixels whatever and that got accepted to uh, to uh, Alamy for example and no problem with big stock photo but for example on tree stock and I think the other one was I stock photo they wanted bigger they wanted uh, 6.3 megapixels or, or something like that and back again to uh, six well, this is all the rest are all 6.1 megapixels uh, basically from the bowls on and uh, the thing about that is that these shots here were fantastic uh, this shot actually sold quite a bit uh, back in the day but now you're getting outgunned by slightly larger you know you, you, you're becoming pixel anemic and even though the shots are fine there, there's nothing wrong with them they look great but if there's not enough megapixels they can't blow the picture up big enough and clean enough so when we're looking at that then we have to also look at uh, you know do we need to upgrade our cameras you know that that's the type of thing but if you can pull off 6.1 megapixels or whatever then no you don't need to upgrade cameras uh, but however if you want to have more sites to share your photography on then yes you would you would have to so again 6.1 megapixels still take a great picture but it's when you go to blow them up uh, this picture coming up is this is probably my number one selling photo believe it or not and that was a fluke shot it wasn't even well framed it was just I held the camera up I was in the middle of the street I just went click and it happened to be there just happened to be a market for it oh, oops oh, stupid PC always interrupting my video but I just thought I'd uh, you know some people who might be getting it back into it or into it like myself uh, that's something you might think oh I gotta rush out and buy a whole bunch of stuff first off just look at what the stock photographer uh, photography sites are asking for there's a lot of them now where they kind of like they're not open all the time where you can upload photos to them but they, they close it off for a couple of months out of the year because so many people upload and what I'm finding now is it's not like it used to be um, where uh, you would get uh, basically a, a bunch of photos, you'd take them, you would upload them all and whatever would take would take and almost everything would be passed and whatever but it would just I guess clutter up their system so what they do now is a lot of them for example do manual reviews of your photos so that means they that you know you, you're going to get a lot of photos rejected and that's okay there, there's nothing wrong with having photos rejected it, you know because the chances are if they reject it it wouldn't sell anyway so that's okay but the thing is it also gives you a, a learning curve too you can look at the photo now some of the automated reasons why 
they they reject the photos is kind of you know it's kind of vague so you don't really know why it rejected the photo sometimes the photo is fantastic but they'll say your title's wrong or something like that and it's like how could it be wrong you know uh, but anyway that type of thing uh, so those are little little things but as far as the megapixel thing uh, some sites will allow you from three megapixels up you know I guess for digital ca uh, cameras on the uh, on the cell phones but look at what they're asking for and then you'll figure out whether you need to upgrade cameras but right now I'm at 6.1 megapixels and all my other cameras are higher. But anyway, I just thought I'd leave it at that. So have yourselves a great day.